Hello everyone. Welcome to From the Heart Friday, session 38 with me, Jessica Brigden of Jess B Creative Cardiology. And I want to thank you guys so much for joining me this afternoon because as you've probably heard, what a year this week has been. Oh my goodness, the world is crazy. It has been a crazy week. And so I appreciate you joining me here for a little bit of stamp and craft therapy. This is a great way to relieve some anxiety and, and do something productive. It's a great way for all of us to join together and, and make those cards and send them to those who, who can't get out and about. Um, so, hey, I've got somebody watching already. Hey, mom. <laughs> Aw. Well, last week I gained, you helped me gain 20 subscribers to my YouTube channel. I wanna thank you guys so, so much. And if you're not already subscribed, uh, please share the love. Please uh, subscribe to my page. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that little bell uh, so that you receive notifications. And let's see if maybe we can gain 50 subscribers this week. I know a lot more people are home watching Facebook Live videos, watching YouTube videos. Uh, it's a great way for us to connect, right? Hey, Carol. Hi. All right. So today I thought it'd be fun to play with some of the it's a demonstrator pre-order suite. It's the Ornate Garden, and there's two bundles in it, as well as some gorgeous designer series paper. So if you're a demo or if you follow Pinterest or anything, then I'm sure you've seen some projects already. Hey, Mary Ann, how are you doing? Yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to play with that this afternoon. Um, yeah, because it's not available to customers until April 1st, but if you'd like to get it early, then you can become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And considering the state of the, the world and the conditions, I know people are perhaps watching their finances, Stampin' Up! starter kit is a fabulous deal. You can choose $125 worth of product for just $99. You get free shipping. Uh, you can choose anything you want. You can get a bonus. You'll get a bonus stamp set. You get this super cute little mini, little mini trimmer. And you get a gorgeous paper pack, 48 sheets. It's a sampler of all of the papers um, in the mini catalog right now. So that's definitely something to consider. I'd love to have you as part of my creative cardiology team and feel free to message me or leave me a comment if you'd like more information. But today I'm going to be playing here with the Ornate Thanks stamp set. It's got these beautiful fonts and kind of the little cursive handwriting look, as well as the ornate border dies. Now these are really, really amazing because they do this intricate florals uh, and they go perfectly. Oh, you, do you guys hear Ziggy? Can you see her? There she is, scratching at the door. <laughs> ah, I haven't let her out because, well, it was really nice here earlier and um, I noticed she likes to sneak off the porch and go down by the shed. And the woodchucks have, they are now awake for spring. And I don't know about you guys, but the woodchucks in my backyard are massive. Like if you've ever seen Princess Bride, you know that awesome <laughs> movie from the 80s? You know that scene where they go through, where Buttercup and, uh, and her, her man in black there go through the fire swamp and they face the R.O.U.S.'s? the rodents of unusual size. Okay, our woodchucks are almost like that. They are huge. And I'm afraid if Ziggy goes out there and tangles with them, it will not be good. So until I know she can <laughs> do we hear her? <laughs> know enough not to go back there. I don't know. Anyways, and it just got super windy and the sky got dark, so I think it's gonna rain anyways. So poor Kitty's just gonna have to She's just gonna have to keep whining. What you doing, Ziggs? Huh? Yes, I'm not gonna let you out right now. Aw. <laughs> All right. I know, are you guys uh, having fun staying home with your pets? Uh, your pets, your kids? Or maybe they're driving you nuts? <laughs> I know, here in New York, uh, school has been off for a complete week. Um, school, you know, different workplaces and things have been like slowly shutting down and I think as of tomorrow, all non-essential 
workplaces are going to be closed. So, hey, as crafters, we've been gearing up for this, right? I mean, I'm sure we've all got a stash. That back room, okay, over here, you can see it. <laughs> that is my craft room back there through that door. Maybe by the end of this uh, self, uh, what are we calling that? Self quarantine, isolation, um, social distancing. By the end of the social distancing period, perhaps that room will be clean and I will give you guys a tour. That will be like an epic video if I do that because right now it looks like a tornado blew through it. Hey, Doris. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Glad to have you join me. Yes, let me know, Rachel, but you're from the UK. If you guys are watching from other countries, let me know where you're from and um, what time it is there. I hear it's three o'clock in the afternoon, but um, I know some of you, it's probably evening or early morning even. Hey, Tracy, how are things out in California? It's crazy here in New York. So I pulled out this gorgeous designer series paper from the Ornate Garden Suite. Um, in fact, this time we'll be playing with um, two of the patterns, let me, pull these out here. I'm gonna be using this sheet here with the terracotta, it's almost like terracotta and blushing bride, the flowers, and then on the other side is this gorgeous gold foil on the mint macaron. Oh, Rachel, it's in the evening. Yes, California and lockdown. I think we go on lockdown here in New York, at least in Tompkins County, tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so I made sure I got my groceries. I didn't do any hoarding, I did, they are limiting toilet paper. I only took one package. We were allowed two, I only took one, so I saved some for other people. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely time for crafting. Um, some of our local restaurants have started doing curbside to go. Um, and they actually changed the law here in New York. You can actually get alcohol to go at this time too. So if you're in really need of a stiff drink, they've got you covered. <laughs> Just don't drink and drive, okay? <laughs> All right, yes, I'm gonna have to um, figure out maybe some kind of workout videos to do. I am sleeping in and, and crafting is, is not so great for, for the physique here. <laughs> right, I'm gonna flip you guys so we'll get started on our, on our cards today. Okay, so flipping this around. There we go. Can you guys see that all right? You can see my board here and the February hostess code is V-U-G-U-B-G-Z-M. Of course, links are in the comments as well. So I don't know about you guys. I have been, I, I don't think I've been stressed, but I know I am because I've been carb craving. But perhaps some of you like to do a little shot retail therapy so if you do definitely head over to a uh, stampin up and get your supplies while you can i was thinking i might need to place an extra order for some adhesives because of course i have lots and lots of paper but i'm going to need some coordinating cardstock and uh, i'm going to need to make sure that i have enough adhesive to glue everything together but i've got this weird this light right above my Thing. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. Well, if I stick my arm there, it's fine. I wonder if I can move this just a little bit. Let's see, sorry about that, but that's that's really bugging me. Is that, no, nope, that's not any better. All right, well, we'll just have to make do. Maybe I can figure out what is going on there. Can you guys still see? All right, I actually turned off my overhead light, which but well, at least we don't have that glaring light right there. Okay, so I'm going to start first. I'm gonna pull out my ornate border dies. I'm going to use the gold, the intricate, a uh, gold, the intricate rose die here to start with. And I wanna show you guys something interesting that um, it took me a little bit, it's a little bit hard to notice on here. Oh, February. Oh my goodness. Well, all right, so I started this in February. It's actually the March. Let me, it's carried into March. The Coastus codes are good for 30 days. Oh my goodness. See, I told you it's been crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Diana, for putting that out. 
<sighs> Good to know you guys have my back. Okay, so on these dies, um, you can see, okay, so there's these little pointers on each side. So the way this die works is that one side of it will cut out, cut off completely. The other one just kind of makes a, make, cuts in the paper, but it doesn't make a clean cut. So this does not cut out as a complete border as is. So you'll notice on here, let me see if I can, yes, there it's focused. Okay, do you see how this side of the die has that extra, extra lip? You know, that extra die cut? This is the side that cuts completely. And this side does not have that. So this will cut out the little leaves and the flowers, but it doesn't actually cut out the whole side of the die. Does that make sense? It doesn't cut completely out on this side, only on this one. So when you are working on your projects, you wanna make sure that you use, have this lined up the proper way. So you can actually tell it's a little bit thicker. See how it's thicker on this side, whereas these are pretty like thin, the leaves. You see the difference? Okay, so this is gonna be on your outside. The thicker edge goes on the outside. Okay, so to start with, um, I'm gonna grab, I am using my precision plate for this because these are such intricate dies. I do believe you get a better cut with a precision plate. So for the first card, let's see, let's go with, let's jazz this up and go with some gold glimmer paper. So I have cut this, this is five and a quarter inches long and it's an inch and a half wide. So I found for layering these um, with other papers and things like that, we're actually going to layer it like this and die cut the pretty roses. Okay, so an inch and a half seems to be about perfect because that gives you that nice clean um, die cut on the outside. Remember the thicker side goes out. So you line that right up on the edge and then you'll still have some width to apply your adhesive and to stick your paper down. Okay, so that's that's an important tip. I have done several cuts and I'm like, what is going on? All right, so the other tip is when you're working with long skinny dies like this, you actually wanna run it through your die cut machine at an angle instead of straight on. If you go straight on, you can see it does, it starts to warp and you don't want it to curve and roll around your machine. So go ahead and put it at an angle. Hi, Janelle, Here, hi, Mary Jo. Yay, I've got lots of people watching today. So I've got my precision plate here and the rose, I'm calling this the rose, the border die cut here from the ornate borders. We have the thicker edge facing the out, outer edge of the paper because that's what we want to trim off. Okay, so I'm going to run this through my, through my machine here. All right, I am using the precision plate because these are pretty intricate. And we just need one plate, so um, there we go. I'm gonna just run this. This is just your typical Sizzix um, top plate. It just happens to be in a fun color. So I like to go all the way through and then go ahead and roll it back again. Okay, make sure you get those nice and nice and cut out. Okay, so I'll move this for the time being. See that. Now I'm going to take my, keep my little foam here in a wood mount stamp case. I'm going to see how that pulled right off the outside edge. Perfect. Throw that away and then place this in. So it cut out perfect. I don't have any little pieces stuck in my die. Uh, if I turn it over here, you can actually see what's cut. And then we'll use the die brush tip here. And I actually have a die brush tip now for the for the take your pick tool that you can stick at the end, but I'm still using my, my old one for the moment. But see how easy those cut out? I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then I do keep a paper piercer in here, and it's okay if it's a little bit crooked because you know what, you're gonna put your paper up there and nobody's gonna see see that part anyways. So I'm gonna flip this because that'll help me see a little better where 
just these extra little pieces that didn't quite pop all the way out. Okay, so just a couple of them here. They're just so tiny, so intricate. But that's why these are so gorgeous. Okay, so it looks like I'm good there. Put that away. Okay, so we've got this. Let me put this underneath so you guys can see a little bit better what we're working on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually apply my adhesive to the back side of this. And if you had some tear and tape, that would actually work out really well too, because with this glitter paper, sometimes things don't always like to stick just right. But go ahead and we're gonna put this on here end to end. See, and then nobody notices if your paper was a little wonky on the back side because they're not gonna see that. Okay, so we've just got that pretty border. And then I'm going to take some of this. It's actually, it's very vanilla and with gold trim. This is from the annual catalog. But oh my goodness, how gorgeous is that? So I'm gonna cut a piece that's about six inches wide. So just a little bit longer than my piece here. Come on, there we go. Okay, and that way, what I'll do is just make some, put some tape here on the ends and then it'll fold right across and stick behind. Okay, just pull that nice and tight. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna put a lot of, a little bit of adhesive on here, right over the ribbon, around all the edges. So I mean, I'm gonna have to stock up on some more adhesive. <laughs> We're gonna be confined to our homes for a while. All right, so the next part is I'm gonna layer this section on a piece of Whisper White. And this is, again, this is five and a quarter by four. All right, so this is gonna be our layer. So this should, if I cut it properly, line right up, right up on the edge. Okay, well, I've got like a 16th of an inch hanging over, but that's pretty good. Okay, so I've got that. Now I can go ahead and mount this on my card base. I'm using mint macaron. So we're five and a half by eight and a half. So just a half sheet of paper. I'm gonna fold this in half. And if you notice, I flipped it over there is because if you're ever wondering which way to fold your paper, usually it has a natural curve. So if you hold it in your hand, you wanna fold it in the direction that it naturally goes in. Okay, well, I managed to get a little sticky on there. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this down on that side. So just adhesive on each side here. A little in the middle like to make sure it's good and secure. All right, let's take it right down. What do you guys think? So pretty, huh? And then I'll take a little bit extra of my, this, like I said, this is the gold metallic trim ribbon from the annual catalog. And, and I'll put the links to all the supplies I've used um, definitely in the comments so that you guys can check them out. I'm just gonna loop that under there. Nice little bow. Trim it. Trim it off. Nice and tidy. Okay. Makes it so fancy. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Gladdy. Definitely. So pretty here. All right, so probably smart thing to do would have been to stamp my sentiment first. So that just means, haha, no pressure. Can't flub this up. But this card is just so intricate and fancy. I mean, it'd be like perfect for like a wedding or a shower or any kind of super fancy occasion. So I didn't necessarily want to thank you on this. Although if you were doing like wedding thank yous, then that would be that would be really nice to use. In this case, um, I'm called out the Peaceful Moments stamp set. This is from the uh, the Pretty Poppies suite. Um, the dies for those are currently unavailable. I know like this whole 
thing going on in the world is definitely um, throwing a lot of things off, including manufacturing and, and the dyes are manufactured um, in China, whereas all of the stamp sets, the ink pads, the cardstock, um, all of that is manufactured directly by Stampin' Up! in Utah. Um, so we have no problem getting the stamp sets and the ink pads and the dyes, but there are stamp sets, ink pads, and the paper. But unfortunately, the dyes are kind of, while well, supplies last a little bit, and the shipments, uh, because of everything, are delayed, and for the poppy ones anyways, won't be coming in until hopefully mid-April. Um, so I've pulled out the congratulations here. Stamp that in mint macaron. This is not macaroon. Those are coconut cookies. Macarons are the pretty French cookies that come in all kinds of fun colors. So I'm gonna stamp this. Oh, yay, I did it. <laughs> Didn't wiggle it too much. Came out pretty good. And how elegant is that? Absolutely love it. This paper is so, so pretty. Um, it's really fun to pair that with some of the gold, gold glitter paper, um, even the gold foil paper. I could have done gold foil on that, but I really like just the extra pop that that, that gives. I mean, ooh, 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 thank you for all the hearts. I love that. <laughs> uh -huh. What are you guys working on? Do you have any particular projects so far? that you've started. Um, have a couple of projects for design teams and things and tutorials. I'm trying to get wrapped up here the next couple of days and then, then perhaps I can just kind of work on some fun crafting for myself. I have got oodles of scrapbooking that needs to be caught up. Yes, I have no shortage of projects. I mean, I could be home for a long time and not have anything to worry about except going stir crazy. <laughs> I know my team um, is really wonderful to see. We've been making a list of the uh, senior nursing homes and senior residences um, around us so that we can send cards to those who are, are shut in and try to use our crafting to make somebody else's day. All right, so I'm going to make another card. I'm actually going to use the same design here, but I flipped the paper and we're going to use this pretty terracotta floral pattern so let me pop this up here all right so I've got terracotta again just a half sheet of your standard eight and a half by eleven cardstock so we're at five and a half by eight and a half and we'll go ahead and fold this at the four and a quarter mark Yes, thank you guys. Oh, Mary Jo's making some to go classes and organizing. Yes, if you guys saw earlier in my video, I have some serious organizing that needs to get done just to pick up the disaster that is my <laughs> that is my craft room. All right, so this time I'm going to cut my roses, my floral floral border. Say that five times fast. Uh, from a strip of terracotta. Again, one and a half inches seems to be the perfect width. And this is five and a quarter. All right, I'm gonna lay this on here. Show you guys that. Lay it on at an angle. Okay, and remember I showed you that one side of this has the extra, the extra thickness. See how much wider the die is at this side than it is on this one? This is the side that cuts completely. And this one just cuts out the flowers, but it does not do the edge. All right, so we're gonna lay this over here on the edge. Want that to cut out, okay? And then put my plate on. Again, I am using the precision plate here. I'm gonna try not to move that while I run, my, run it through my big shot here. Okay, so we'll crank it through. Again, I like to go forward and back so one shot through and then go ahead and crank it back and this is with a precision plate so depending on what you're using you might want to go a couple times or you might want to stick a little bit of wax paper um, between your paper and the die even but so far i haven't had any problems so again that the outside piece just peels right off there 
Got it pretty close to the edge, it looks like, but oh, just made it. Okay. Let me stick this here so we can see it. All right, again, so I'm gonna just pull this right off. So just a couple little pieces stuck in there, not, not too bad. Just run that through and, okay, good to go there. And then I'm gonna stick this piece right up here. Try to keep my mess as contained as I can, but look at how lovely they just fall right out of there. Love that when the die is cut so, so nice. All right, oh, I'm not even gonna have to like pop out any pieces, just a couple little ones right here. And that was it. Oh, one more. Okay, so that's it so far on that. Now this time I'm gonna use my pretty flower piece. All right, my tape runner, so this time I'm gonna run my tape runner right down the side here. And I can't really do that on the gold glitter paper because the adhesive just really doesn't stick to it, kind of rolls back up on itself. But in this case, you can go ahead and do that. Make sure they line up. Oh, looks like I never trimmed this piece here, so I'm gonna to have to use my handy dandy little mini trimmer. And then I can just cut off that that extra little edge. So make sure my paper's snug. Ha <laughs> ha, worked so nice. Okay. All right, now it's good. And this time, instead of the gold ribbon, I'm going to use, oh, I'm still gonna use the gold ribbon. I was gonna say, in the suite, you get this pretty um, terracotta, but I think I want the, I think I want the contrast of the gold trim. I think that looks better for this project anyways, because I want a little contrast. All right, so again, just cutting it a little bit wider, so about six inches. We'll put our, I'm gonna just go ahead and put my adhesive all over here because we'll layer it on some, some Whisper White. Okay, and that's just gonna overlap and tuck to the back, nice and smooth and clean. Put a little bit more where those ribbon ends were. And then we'll layer this onto some Whisper White. Yes, that trimmer is so handy. And the only way to get it is with the purchase of a Stampin' Up! starter kit. So that makes it all worth it. You get the, so you pay 99. You choose $125 worth of product. You get the mini trimmer. You get the 48 sheet paper pack. So you get all the different colors even some of the celebration papers are in there. So fun. And then you also get an additional stamp set. Any value. So you get the most expensive stamp set in the catalog, which I believe is the well-said stamp set with all of the different sentiments. But you can choose anything you like. And you get all of that for just $99 uh, plus tax. If you're in New York, uh, you do have to pay tax on that. So that depends on where you are. Um, but yeah, that's like $200 worth of product or more for just 99. All right. So again, my whisper white was four inches by five and a quarter layered that all together. How pretty. So this is with the other one. And now we, hi Lisa. Oh, I'm live still. So you're not even on the replay yet. <laughs> you caught me live. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of, a little more ribbon. I like to just I keep it on the roll and just tuck it under. No fancy bows today, although that would be pretty, but I'm keeping it simple. Just a simple little, just a knot. Trim it off. Angle my edges just a little bit there. Oh, come on here. I think I need to sharpen my ribbon shears. But that will have to await until after we're no longer socially distanced. In the meantime, <laughs> all right. The reason I like doing that too, I did not glue this down, but that way you can slide your bow wherever you need it to. All right, so this time I am going to use the 
ornate, thanks, stamp set. And I thought this would be fun because I mean, I could send this to a card. Um, I thought so grateful would work uh, because it could be so grateful for a friend like you. Um, definitely, I'm looking for anything that's encouraging and cheerful and just to keep in touch. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm a, I'm a huggy kind of person. So this, one of the hardest things here is it's not just not being able to, you know, be around my friends. I can see them, um, you know, on social media and stuff, but I miss my hugs. <laughs> Yeah, so I stamped that in terracotta tile. Love that. It came out pretty nice there. It's not completely spaced, but hey, it is what it is. All right, if you want it perfect, you can stamp it using the Stamparatus, and then you don't have to worry about it. Once it's lined up, it's good to go. Okay, so with this one, I mean, the other card... That gold glitter was just so blingy on its own. I didn't really think it needed anything. Hi, Pam. Hello in North Carolina. Yes, all right, so this was really blingy. I thought it was good, but this one, I'm going to use some of these gorgeous little gold gilded gems. They're kind of faceted. Love my bling. You can see how shiny they are. And I'm gonna use the teeny tiny little ones. My take your pick tool here. Let me see, just get them underneath and I'm gonna put them in the center of each flower. Now I did not glue this down. I suppose I could, I could have put glue dots underneath, but really because it's secured with the paper, the designer series paper on the ribbon, I mean, this it's not going anywhere. And it kind of makes a nice little, little ruffle on the card. So again, another one of these little little dots slide that off right in the center and that'll help hold it to the adhesive from the back of the dot we'll keep it help keep it in place all right there we go yeah these come in three sizes you get little ones medium ones and then large ones put my top on there yeah so what did you guys think these are my ornate garden i'm calling these my rose border cards because I really think that does look like roses to me or posies. I mean, those aren't roses there. Those are more like, like posies or something. But these are from the Ornate Borders dies. These will be available to everybody beginning April 1st, uh, currently on demonstrator pre-order. So if that doesn't tempt you between this new product suite and the mini trimmer, and the cute little paper pack that I don't know what will, but <laughs> definitely a great deal, especially if you want something fun and new to play with while you are while you are stuck at home for a while. Aww, but I hope everybody is taking care, making sure to wash their hands. You can use your, I did a video last week, showed how to um, clean up your dyes and even how to, how to rinse your your photopolymer stamps so they can renew their sticky and, and disinfect, but all kinds of great tips out there and just stay safe and and enjoy the time you have with your loved ones and and have fun crafting and getting caught up on these projects that that perhaps you haven't had time for before. The kids love to craft, so you know, have them get out their Crayolas and their construction paper or give them some of your old Stampin' supplies if you don't care and and let them go to town and, and have, put them to work sending letters to writing cards and and things and sending them to grandparents and, and loved ones and even to brighten someone's day at a at a nursing home. Aww, so thank you guys so much. I will try to, um, I mean, obviously it sounds like I'm going to be home for at least all of next week if not longer. So I will try to be posting more vigilant on my on my blog and Facebook and things here with a few more projects for you. Um, but if anything, I will see you guys next Friday as scheduled. Take care, everybody, and be well. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.